No, welcome back. Me and Evan are starting a little father-son trip, kicking off a long fishing weekend out here on the Chesapeake Bay, the lower end of it, and just offshore of Virginia Beach. We're going to try to remember to show you some of the rigs we're using on this trip and also catch a whole bunch of flounder, sea bass, towelfish, uh, maybe even some mahi. So we're going to go for a pretty good variety of fish and hopefully get enough footage to, to have and hopefully get enough footage to have several videos yes tongue tie out of this trip he loves it when i do that so hit that subscribe button down there give me that thumbs up like button and if y'all like seeing this forearm and that fishing rod over there make sure you check <laughs> out in the search bar 3g outdoors that's my channel after you watch this video though don't go to his channel until you finish watching my channel all right thumbs up <laughs> link in description for my channel maybe all right give it that thumbs up like button don't forget that subscribe button if you haven't already hit it and the bell icon so you don't miss any videos check this out so this is the rig we're fishing this is basically a john skinner rig with a big homemade gobstop around head two ounce on the bottom a little bait saver gamagatsu hook on the top number four excuse me 4-0 and a dropper loop right there maybe about a foot in between them that's all you need for fishing this rig you want this thing to go all the way to the bottom and lift it up a couple inches and just keep it bouncing a little action gets their attention keeping it in the strike zone for as long as you can and sometimes you get a mud toad like this which is a pain to bite but guess what mud toads and flounder they live in the same place Baby toad. Probe it, hey? How you probe it? I don't know what it is. Tell me something. That's right. it. Short. <laughs> but target species, baby. Target species. Fly of the day. Woo! Whoop whoop! Alright, so keep your rod relatively horizontal so when you get a bite like this, you want to do is reel down and give a nice quick jerk like that and hope it's a flounder or not in a mud toad like this but a good hook set is important short but really quick jerk down right there okay. Are you yeah look at it too short oh okay and a rock no I'll toss out here. Oh! He broke that rod. Yeah. What was it? <laughs> Mondo toad. Kind of put you in the rocks in a hurry. Walter Mondo. Woohoo! Yeehoo! He's up! Look, it's a big bass! Woohoo! He's jumping! Woohoo! <laughs> what you got? Netter. Yeah, One net. That's a netter. Net. That's a netter, baby. Come on. Come on, come on. Oh, it's going. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. Let me catch mine now. That's what I'm talking about, boys. Hold up. Check Timmy. that out right there, huh? Hold up, Timmy. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Hold up, Timmy. We have found us a little wreck here. And no, I'm not going to give you the coordinates. That is loaded with nice trigger fish. Oh, Mr. They're hitting friggin' scrap gulps and damn near anything we throw down there. We stopped on this thing looking for flounder. Didn't find any of those. Oh, I missed one. Bring your in here. Hey! Sorry. <laughs> On board, sucker. Oh, I just lost one. Welcome aboard the reckless, Mr. Triggerfish. That's what I'm talking about right there. Triggers bite really soft, and you got to get a little lucky with that hook set because they'll just nip that bait right off your hook. Just little nips at a time. There we go. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Good. Oh, yeah. Come on. Whoop. I'll take you in the belly, you sucker. 
That's a little one, that's a fryer. Right. Got it. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, dude. Get him. Get him. Shit. In the boat. Dang. What? <laughs> no. Look at that sucker right there, man. Oh, let me set. All right, so so y'all know, I'm using a teeny tiny little hook, a little teeny tiny octopus hook with a little bit of gulp scrap on it and the sinker, and that's it. And they're pounding this thing. There comes somebody. Yeah, that's another good one. Ah! There you go. That was great. You want another one? <laughs> another nice one? How come it's your side and not my side? No. Swing him up in here. Oh, oh, I have one following it. <laughs> I got you down. Oh, another nice one. Woo. That one's big. Big enough. Welcome to the reckless. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I'm not getting nothing on this side of it, the medium. <laughs> got him? Oh yeah, I got a good one. <laughs> you want that? Whoa. Maybe. I don't know. This is a nice one here. Yes or no? Yeah. Watch where the, out. Where the f is the net? It wasn't the motor box before we made that run. That's unreal. We're done. So that is how you catch a cooler full trigger fish. I've always told you I'd show you the good, the bad, and the ugly on these adventures, and this trip was no exception. Yes, I broke a fishing pole. Yes, Evan almost hit me with a fish. Yes, we lost the best net we've ever had. That Cummins net with that rubber mesh has been fantastic. No more getting hooks and fish tangled in a net. It's just been super, and we've already got another one on order. Next week, I'll have part two, which is where we caught a six-person limit of blue line tile fish on this boat with some of its friends. Some alcohol was involved, not by your captain, of course, but it was a wild trip. Lots of fun. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down in that bell icon so you don't miss any videos. Give me that thumbs up like button for dodging that fish. We'll see you next time. And a rock, no. Maybe I'll toss out here. Oh! You broke that rod. Hey, hey, hey! Bye. Ha, ha, ha.